bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see Okay, today we are going to replace the brake pads of this 2009 Yamaha FZ6R. Let's start with the rear brake. There are two bolts here. This is a 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter. So let's start to remove the, to loosen the 12 millimeter bolt. millimeter bolt here take the two bolts to be loosened together not one after the other it's just my preference now then once the two balls are removed you can now remove the whole brake assembly all right now you can check up your brake pads here as you can see it's still thick but it's already worn out I think it's causing some um, lines here on the brake pad it's either we clean this up smoothen it or completely replace it but for me since I already bought a set of brake pads for the front and the rear I will go ahead and replace this yeah, so the next step is to remove these brake pads using a flat screwdriver here. Just turn it. So after removing the brake assembly, there's actually a nut here. You can remove it by a, using a flat screwdriver. This nut cover will be will be removed, and then you have to use a hex to loosen the bolt here. Screw loosen this bit until you are able to remove the old brakes like that and the new brakes on top and the old brakes that I replaced I'm going to replace and it's probably a good idea just to check if they match like that and I'm sure they, they do match okay guys while I'm doing this repair brake my friends are here. Say hi. Hi. Do, 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 do. Uh, you want what you want? What do you want? Candy. Want a candy. candy? Candy. Okay. Uh, we will have a short break. I'll just give candy to these friends of mine, and then we will continue our work here. Right. Okay. All right. So before you put the brake, the new brakes. 
we have to push this cylinder inward like that so in here we can use a piece of metal to cover the cylinder and use your C clamp like that all right and then just slowly tighten the C clamp you can feel it's moving inward yeah like that and loosen the C clamp now we can see that the cylinder is pushed inside yeah like that okay next is we now put the new brakes yeah like this insert it like that so the brake pads are facing each other yeah and then you can tighten this bolt using this hex screw that and then tighten it yeah so it's tight then put this cover Tighten it using a flat screwdriver. There you go. It's, it's, it's tight. See, I already positioned the caliper, brake caliper back, and now I am ready to put the 14 mm bolt. And then the 12 mm in front here and then tighten it so we tighten it together So you can see it's a bit uh, loose. That's because the cylinder is pushed all the way inside. Yeah. Now I'm just pumping the brake. It should tighten it a bit like that. Then I can put the right torque tighten these two screws and we're done we're moving to the front brakes now okay we are now going to remove the brakes front left so there are two screws here two nuts that we need to loosen uh, it's 12 mm it's funny in front it's bold 12 mm but the one on the rear side we have 12 and 14 okay loosen this knot if I can oh it's a bit tight Let's try the other one. It's all tight. It's a bit tight. I'm going to use some lever. 
Yeah, just like that. And the next one. There we go. That helps a bit. area then from there you can already remove this brake assembly like that so again there are two cylinders in here that we need to push inside later on just move this assembly out of the way so I have a view of the brakes that I will replace yeah. there we go I think it's yeah it's still thick but it's already making some marks on the, on the rotor that's why I think it's already time to replace it so you have to um, watch out for the orientation of the brakes I'll remove the first one I'll remove the other one and maybe also you may want to clean up clean your rotor a bit just to remove the dust and oil yeah, and then put the new brakes okay so this is the old brake pad and this is the new brake pad so it's exactly the same uh, in terms of thickness it's probably still okay with this old one and this is the new one but you can see the surface of this new one is smaller there are no lines and uh, this one is the old one so i guess it's time to replace the old one yeah yeah like that and on the other side it's like that see it fits nicely in here okay so there are two cylinders in here it's sticking out it's time to push these two cylinders in before we put it into the to its place yeah you can see in here there are gaps and spaces put the piece of metal on top of the two cylinders put your C clamp and then just tighten it tighten it slowly and then you can see that the two cylinders are going inside until it's almost flat then yeah to remove your clamp as you can see those two cylinders are now positioned inside these two cylinders are being pushed by uh, some of your brake fluids when you press the brakes and then it pushes the brakes into the rotor and that's how it works okay now I'm ready to put it back into position put the two bolts back to its place here sometimes you have to wiggle it to go into its right position 
Not so good. This is the tricky part. There we go. One. And the second one. There's a rubber in between the two metal plates. Yeah, there we go. Then tighten it. Yeah, tighten it using your hands first, your hand. And then using your quick release ratchet. Yeah, as you can see, um, the wheel is still turning like that. Then you press your front brake a couple of times until until it, the two cylinders are pushing the brakes directly like that so I will, push, I will press the brake as you can see it already stopped that's good then you can adjust your brake play on the lever okay so we are now on the right side of the front brake similar to the one we did on the left side just stop loosen these two screws or nuts two nuts yeah and then after that remove this brake assembly replace the old brakes like that Yeah, and then the other one. Just like that. Done. Push those two cylinders. easy see you don't have to force it you just have to slowly tighten it until it's pushed inside like that then put it back if you don't push those two cylinders inside it might be too tight to insert this assembly with the two brake pads already in there right and then just put back the two nuts like that. tighten it okay check Right, then tighten it to the right torque. You can probably look at that in your manual or Google it. But for now, I'll just tighten it, and we're done.